So welcome everybody in, in this demonstration style event. My name is Aaron Ford and I'm learning and development manager here at TechSoup. And I'm also an organizer of Alphabet Soup, which is TechSoup's LGBTQ plus affinity group. And uh, now I'm excited to welcome Abby Davies, who's internal international resource coordinator and translation for InReach. Abby um, uh, is the internal resource coordinator and translation head at InReach. With a background in international development and asylum refugee rights work, Abby has been at InReach since 2019, helping to add new organizations to the app across the US, Canada, Mexico, and US territories. She, along with others on the team, manages trained volunteers, interns, and translators to make the app as comprehensive and updated as possible, while also helping with training and partnerships. InReach is the world's first tech platform matching LGBTQ plus people facing persecution or discrimination with safe, independently verified resources. Welcome, Abby. Um, and as Erin said, my name is Abby and I will be presenting on behalf of InReach. Um, so just a little quick agenda. First, I'll give an intro, then do a quick app demo and then let you all know ways that you can get involved. Um, so InReach is a trans-led tech nonprofit increasing resource access for the diverse LGBTQ plus community. Um, so we began as Asylum Connect in 2016, and I actually presented on behalf of Asylum Connect at a TechSoup conference, I think in 2019 or 2020, something like that. Um, but last year we rebranded as InReach. Um, and the reasoning for that is as Asylum Connect, our demographic was mostly LGBTQ plus asylum seekers. Um, but we realized through that experience that a lot of our users were actually not asylum seekers um, and represented a range of immigration statuses within the US. Um, so encompassing asylum seekers, refugees, immigrants, as well as US citizens. Um, so we didn't think that our name necessarily matched um, our mission. So we rebranded as InReach last year. Um, we now strive to be intersectional along those lines. So we believe that LGBTQ plus equality requires trans justice, refugee justice, racial justice, reproductive justice, language justice, disability justice, and more. Um, and then as Erin said, we are the world's first tech platform matching LGBTQ plus people facing persecution or discrimination with safe, independently verified resources which spans mental health, medical, legal, social services, translation, transportation, and any services that folks might require. Um, so the reasoning um, behind our founding is that marginalized LGBTQ plus people lack access to safe resources in the United States, um, and then as well as in Mexico, Canada, and US territories, which is where our app is currently available. Um, I'm not going to play all of these videos uh, because unfortunately we don't have time, but when this is sent out, um, you all are able to view some uh, user stories. But I will share our impact to date um, along with some demographic profiles so that you all can see um, a large range of folks use the InReach app. So spanning different countries of origin, different races and ethnicities, different identities, um, as well as different ages. Um, so we do list services that are focused on specific communities. So for folks who span different identities, they're able to find resources that specialize in a range of identities, whether that's um, TGNC folks, LGBTQ plus youth, Spanish speakers, BIPOC people, people of different documentation statuses. I will play you all Sarah's story just so we can see one example of somebody who uses the InReach app. This is Sarah. Sarah is a trans woman who fled her home country of Nigeria to escape the death threats she received because of her gender identity. While her safety is in jeopardy, she's unaware of how she can remain in the United States or of any asylum protections that she may have. That is, until a friend told her to download the app InReach. With the help of InReach, Sarah is able to locate a pro bono attorney. She also uses the app to easily find a free support group for trans women of color. As an undocumented person, Sarah appreciates the ability to filter out providers that require specific documentation. Sarah trusts InReach will be with her every step of the way. To read more stories like Sarah's or to find out more information, visit www.inreach.org. So that was just to 
give you all an idea of somebody who would use the InReach app. Um, and as we can see here, our product has grown significantly since uh, being founded in 2016. Um, and then this past year, we had over 200,000 user sessions. But as I had mentioned, we were originally Asylum Connect focused on LGBTQ plus um, asylum seekers here in the US. We have since expanded to Mexico, Canada and US territories and we are in all 50 US states. Um, but in you know, the last year, I think we are all aware that there has been a lot of political attacks on the trans community. Um, so we have also this year focused a lot on adding resources for trans folks in the US who might be seeking resources in more safe and affirming states or communities, um, as well as maybe finding remote services for folks who live in states or communities that are not trans affirming. Now I'm going to share a demo. This does not have sound. So if you can't hear it, you're not supposed to be able to. Um, this is showing a prototype of our new app redesign, which we just launched. Um, so it does show dummy data on this video, but I will try to talk us through it. Um, so we are available on mobile as well as on our resource website. Um, and so this is the mobile version. Um, so when you do download the InReach app, which is available on the App Store as well as Google Play, um, you'll be able to find here the different um, types of services that we offer. So as I said, we span everything from legal services, medical, mental health, um, social services, transportation, translation and interpretation, spiritual services, community services. Um, you start by entering a state, city, or zip code, and then you can also, as you see here, um, we show the different LGBTQ plus um, communities that we offer, that we provide services for. Um, and then as you scroll down, so for example, we had entered Washington, D.C. here, we see a list of the different resources that are available on the InReach app, and you can focus on different LGBTQ plus communities. So the BIPOC community, um, folks living with HIV, immigrants, Spanish speakers, trans community, and LGBTQ plus youth. Uh, we are constantly expanding into new communities, but when we um, launched our redesign very recently, these, these are the first communities that we focused on, but we are definitely interested in expanding to many more intersectional identities. Um, then we can see here all the different filters for different services that um, we list on the InReach app, um, and then also under each service, um, category. There are also subcategories. Um, so for example, under legal, we have asylum application, citizenship, DACA, etc. Um, and then each organization page also has their own service pages where you can see their contact information. So their phone number, their website, their address, their email, their social media platforms, um, accessibility requirements, and the easiest way to access services in each organization. Um, we also list reviews, so um, you're able to create a user account and then leave a review on any services that you might be familiar with, um, so folks know which organizations might serve them best. Um, there are photos um, of the location, and then here you can see the reviews. Um, so it is completely free and you are able to access without um, creating an account, however, if you do create an account, you're able to have access to different things, um, such as um, saving um, a list of different organizations that you're able to print or share, either as a service provider, so with your client or as an individual in order to access those services. If you're interested in our tech stack, um, I will skip over this, but this is just our new um, UX design. And then ways to support and help us out, um, of course, downloading our app, sharing it and then also suggesting LGBTQ plus affirm organizations in your local area or any organizations that you're aware of that you do not see listed on the InReach app and to follow us on social media.